What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for Damon X Machina. This is a pricey game, alright? I'm gonna lead off by saying that this one cost Splatty some ducats. This game is like 60 bucks, alright? So like, tailor your expectations accordingly. However, I have been hard starved for like an Armored Core style mecha game for a really long time. And from the reviews that I've read so far, this game seems pretty sweet, so today we're going to be doing some first impressions of it. I have no idea if this is an indie game. I don't know. I just wanted to mess around with some mechas and fly around with a giant laser sword slicing other mechas to pieces. And this one was right there on the table being like, I'm ready, brother. And so let's do it. Let's dive on in and take a look. Uh, apparently we have obtained rewards. We have a plug suit. That sounds horrifically unappealing, but okay. We've also got a Silver Raven, a Grim Reaper, and a Thunderbird. I don't know why I needed that information right now. The game just volunteered it. I didn't ask, but the game was like, listen, here's what you've unlocked just by pushing the button. Okay, thank you. I didn't, I didn't ask, but cool, man. All right, so we got to make our character out here. Uh, we've got our gender, which apparently we can swap around if we really, really want to. Okay, that's cool. We'll be a dude. I'm fine with it. I'm down. I'm down with the dude designation. I'm fine with the. He I'm not trying to spend a bunch of time on this. Okay, I'm just gonna swap out. Let, let's be. Let's be. Let's be awesome. They got like a mohawk hiding around here. Some. You know they're gonna have a mohawk hiding around here somewhere. They have to. There's literally no way that there's not a mohawk around here somewhere. Oh, we can have like that samurai hair, right? Oh, I think I, I think I see Brave Fencer Musashi hair. Hold on. Yup, there it is. That's the one. We got to go with it. We don't have a choice. Can we have a beard? I'm fine with the hair color too. I honestly don't mind altogether that much. Can I have a beard? I think I should have a beard. Let's throw a, let's throw a beard on this guy. Just make him make him look a little bit older. Or we could just have a big sexy mustache. I'll go I'll go with the full beard, even though it's funny looking. I'm down with it. We can have scars, tattoo. We gotta pick our voice. Alright. Let's see what's up with our voice here. Dude, we gotta be the deep voice guy. We have to. We have no choice. Like we gotta be that guy right there. We wanna sound like Colossus in Children of the Atom when he uses his special. Like you gotta sound like him when he does his special. Uh, we can choose what our plug suit looks like, apparently. We can also pick our colors. We can have like a prototype plug suit. Or we can have that one right there. The metallic one's pretty sweet. I'm going to go with the metallic one. I'm kind of a sucker for the metallic plug suit. Uh, can I have any... Like, what kind of colors we got up in here? Well, let's go with something like... Yeah, I'm feeling the dark green. We can do the dark green. Color number two, what do you do? I'm going to go with white right there. And then, like, I don't know, maybe we'll go with something like, yeah, man, that's what's up. We look good. We look organized. I feel it. I feel it. All right, let's finish this thing up. Then we got to choose our name. Uh, there we go. We have our name. Absolutely.
When do I get to do the big mecha guy? Like, I feel like games like this should always open on me slapping the ever-loving hell out of another mech and, like, body slamming it into a mountain, and then we get into the storyline portions afterwards. Link accepted. Greetings. My name is Ford. I am the operator who serves as the liaison between orbital and outers like yourself. You have just recovered from transplant surgery to install your neural link terminal. At this time, your biometric data in the oval link will be updated and registered with orbital. This is your arsenal on loan from orbital. Before we register you as a mercenary, you must complete an aptitude test. Accept the mission from this terminal and await dispatch. Well, let me go ahead and per let me let me let me go ahead and prove that I am apt. All right. And we can access that's a doggy right there. Can I pet him? No. I wanted to see if I could pet the doggy. Can I pet the doggy? He's pretty cool, man. It's a pretty cool dog right there. You really shouldn't ignore a dog that's that awesome. Uh, let's go with missions, and then let's have a look here. The game doesn't really have mouse control, except for, like, when you're moving around and stuff, but, like, on the menus and whatnot, there's no mouse control. Uh, let's see here. We have missions on officer, and we got our aptitude test. Let's do it. Start! I don't even care. We don't even need to look at our loadout. I guarantee it's going to be awesome. Initiating arsenal boot sequence. Data link, normal. Generator pool, normal. Energy limiter released. Electromagnetic armor operating at normal levels. Weapon safety mechanism released. All systems normal. Commencing launch. The outer aptitude test will begin soon. This is a live fire exercise, but you have nothing to worry about. Hardly anyone fails this test. Two veteran mercenaries will serve as observers during the test. This is Reaper of the Western Seven. I'll be joining you as an observer. And I'm Queen of Panzer Crown. Charmed, I'm sure. Observers for the aptitude test are selected at random from a pool of qualified mercenaries. They're here to make sure the test is conducted fairly, and to intervene if your life is threatened. What Four said, if things get dicey, just ask us for help. That said, don't expect to pass if you nearly die out here. For Oval, and the world as a whole, elders like yourself are among our most valuable resources. However, if the cost of your arsenal repairs consistently exceeds the profit you generate, your value may be reassessed. We get it. Let's get this over with already. Like Four said, hardly anyone fails this test. If you're not sure what to do, prioritize your survival. Just trust your instincts and you'll pass with flying colors. We will now begin the aptitude test. Please direct your attention to your radar. The aptitude test will begin once you cross the blue boundary. Move out and proceed to the designated coordinates as instructed. Apparently I'm flying right now. So we've got Arsenal Outer, we've got enemy units, finish objectives. Alright, I feel it. Basically, if it's red, shoot it in the face. Alright, so we got our basic move, we can high jump, alright. We can go flight mode while airborne, we can boost, okay. Yeah, let's go flight mode, man. I'm down with flying. Let's fly. Oh, and I can boost, too. Nice. So we can aim, and we can shoot on the right arm and the left arm. Okay. We can lock on to enemies. All right. And then we've got shoulder weapons and auxiliary weapons. Okay. I kind of like to test out what I have before we go much further. But anyways, we've got a right weapon swap menu. We've got a left arm swap menu. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this all straight, but they're throwing a lot at me right now. You have arrived at the designated coordinates. The aptitude test will now begin. Uh, I don't have anything else that I can swap out. There we go. Is that a bad guy right there? I don't know if that's a bad guy right there. I'm gonna shoot him. Alright, he's dead. We've murdered him. Oh my god. So we've got VP recovery tanks. 
They generate a recovery area. Enter the area to get your VP back. All right. Yeah, I'm going to kind of go over here and maybe, like, hope that I don't get murdered. Yeah, just keep shooting. What happens with my shield over here? Do I just, like, put it up? Oh, you can lock it in and out. Okay, what is this thing right here? There's an assault rifle? Ooh, let me get it. Yeah. Oh, no, what is that thing? I don't know what it is. I shot it in the face. Ooh, there's a tank down here. Yeah, let's bust it. That tank is now done. We'll kill that guy right there. It feels pretty good. I will pick up that other. Apparently, that's assault rifle ammo. All right, what does this thing do? Can I destroy it? Oh, I can. Nice. Yeah, recover my VP, son. I don't think I need any VPs, but... We can try to Oh, dude, I can, like, skid slide around. Oh, my God. Okay, we skid sliding now, baby. Yup. I didn't even know I could do this. This is what's up. To the air. Let's go to the air. Yup. Oh, I wanted to stay in the air. Big jump. Flight mode. All right, there we go. Now we're moving. Oh, no. As I was gonna say, I hope that doesn't, like, mess up my mech. Uh, it looks like we got bad guys over here, maybe. Let's go look. Are there bad guys over here? I don't see anything. Nothing in the red zone. Looks like there's bad guys over here too, though. All right, let's let them have it. I'm going to try and stay up in the air as long as possible. Dude, this music's kind of hype too. I'm feeling this right now. I'm feeling a little heavy metal right now. I kind of want to go fast and just open up with a chain gun. Designated enemy AIs have been detected by your radar. Destroy them at once. I don't care about that. What does this do? I can access a car? Oh, dude, I'm going to chuck a car at somebody. Yup. That's exactly what's happening. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I missed. That was going to be so awesome, too. I was so excited about it. Yeah, let's get up in the air so that maybe I've got a little bit more glide potential out here. Where's the enemy at? There's another one. There he is. Perfect. It feels good. It's actually pretty live. I guess I can get back down on the ground. we got a bunch of assault rifle ammunition over here. I don't know if I should pick it up or not. There's one target remaining. All right, let's go find his ass. I don't see him. Where's he hiding at? I got an orange dot over here. Let's go see if we can find him. Apparently, you can only boost for a little while. Oh, there he is. He's hiding back here. He knew the writing was on the wall. Get some rest before you tackle your next assignment. You should get your test results right away. See you around on the battlefield. Aptitude test complete. You have passed. Congratulations. Your arsenal link key has been received. You are hereby recognized by Orbital and the Consortiums as a registered mercenary. From now on, you will help us work toward world peace by completing assigned missions. Thank you for your service. I wanted to see if I had anything in my left weapon slot that I could swap out for the shield, but it wasn't really that big of a deal. Apparently, I can hold that to skip. All right, let's go back to base. Okay, so we made $1,000, just like running a simulation right there. Do we get any kind of level ups or anything? Or, like, what happens here? We had no VP fluctuations to be spoken of, so, like, we were pretty much good to go. All right, so it looks like we've gotten rewards. We've got a Grim Reaper AT, and then we've also got Fledgling Pilot, which I would have preferred to have been called, like, a private or, you know... Like a corporal or something, but I suppose fledgling works. It's a little, it's a little demeaning, but I'm not that upset about it. What do these do? So this is an exploration mission. We can work with other players to explore the inner workings of a labyrinthine facility. Oh, okay. So there's like an online portion of it too. All right, cool. What does this do? Multiplayer with others. Oh, cool. So we can do co-op and versus. Nice. Well, I'll probably stick on the single player for a little bit until I unlock more stuff. Seems like I have a message. Oh, nice. Greetings, Leomond. We are Zen. If you're not familiar with the concept of Zen, it refers to a life of hardship, but it also represents everything that is. It is at once part and some, fragment and whole. Our philosophy is the peak of technology. We provide all reclaimers with the latest weapons and arsenal tech. There are those in this world who claim we should sell our souls for science. Nevertheless, we will support you with our latest technological advancements. These challenges that await you are not unlike those faced by your predecessors. We look forward to witnessing all that you have to accomplish. All right. I just want to do another mission and shoot some more stuff. I'll be honest with you. Actually, can I go to my hangar? Can I do anything in the hangar? Can I, like, swap a... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's install weapons. What kind of weapons do I have? So my right weapon was a machine gun. Ooh. 
An expensive assault rifle with high capacity. It holds enough ammo to be useful and economical. I don't know what we had last time. Oh, dude, I kind of want that little SMG right there. Yeah, let's get that dirty little SMG right there. Yeah, let's get that dirty little SMG. That sounds good. And then what do I have like going on for like with melee? Can I put a sword in my other hand or something? Like what if I just wanted to go all guns out here? Like what if I wanted like, no, I don't want that for my right weapon. I want that for my left weapon. There we go. Okay, left weapon. We're going to put in the big auto cannon right there. I want a bazooka. That's what I'm talking about. We got a little SMG and we got a bazooka. That's what's up. Uh, with the bullets right here. I wanted that gun right there. There we go. Perfect. And then for... Do we have shoulder weapons yet? If we have shoulder weapons, I want these shoulder weapons out here. We just have missiles? Yes. Missiles. Absolutely. Put them on there. What's a pylon do? Oh, so you can swap them. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's go with that one on my pylon right there. And then with my left pylon... Just in case I need to swap out, we'll put the shield on my other pylon. There we go. Perfect. I don't know if those are going to fire on their own or if that's just like a storage slot so I can swap out weapons. But either way, not that worried about it. Let's roll. Mission time. I don't have any free missions yet, so let's do this next part. we got to sweep the city. Let's do it. Mission briefing. This mission is a request from Sky Union. The details are as follows. Hostile AI forces have invaded Sky Union's territory within the Oval Link. Each assigned mercenary must quickly clear out the enemies within the designated area. We have also confirmed that the invading enemy force consists of these seized AI. For this mission, the area has been divided among all participating reclaimers. You will be accompanying Bulletworks. Briefing over. Okay, so go into the area and kill everything that's red. That's a mission that's simple enough that I can get on board with it. Hey, Rookie. If you got any questions, hit me up. I'd be happy to show you the ropes. So you're a vet now, Tony. <sighs> See what I gotta put up with? Come on, Corporal. When are you gonna stop treating me like a newbie? Four, send us the mission data. Uploading. That should be everything. Consult this data for detailed information about the mission area. Continue your approach. The mission will begin soon. Catch you later, rookie. I bet you all of my monies that Johnny is going to die. He seems like that character that dies, and then that's just like the impetus for the rest of your missions and adventures. Like, I will avenge Johnny! You know, somebody's going to ram a laser sword through him, and we're going to feel really, really bad about it. Alright, so we got bad guys over here. I'm going to fire the bazooka at him. I'm going to give him a little taste of the zook. Uh, what else we got going on? I did. Exciting, isn't it? This is hell, John. Encased in a 2,000 kilometer wide barrier. Focus. Come on, man. What do you keep busting my chops for? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. The name's Johnny G. I'm with Bulletworks. And that lovely ray of sunshine is the corporal. He's with Bulletworks, too. Please remember to use my call sign, Falcon. My call sign is my real name. Man, I wish I had a cool sounding call sign like Falcon. A call sign is just a word to help us ID each other. If you say so, Corporal. Anyway, Bola Works has been placed in charge of this area. The other areas are being handled by other reclaimer squads. Choose your partner wisely. In this line of work, the wrong choice can get you killed. Corporal's right. You'll definitely want to steer clear of the shadier mercs. Just keep tabs on the mercenary report, and you'll learn fast who's hot and who's not. Anyway, back on top. Sky Union has managed to hold this area for a long time. But every now and then, AI invaders will show up knocking at the door and trying to get in. And when that happens, we get called in to clean house. Best control, more or less. Pretty much. You probably already know about the Immortals, but just in case, they're responsible for corrupting all these AI that we've been sent to destroy. But our arsenals are more than a match for them. These AI might as well be fish in a barrel. The Immortals must be destroyed on sight. We'll get a bonus for each one we take out. Stay within the mission area. Four will alert you if 
thought this great. Just leave it to me. Mission complete. We're already Executing done? Automatic return sequence. Return according to instructions. Over already, huh? Looks like the rookie's still in one piece, too. Time to head home and... Wait, Johnny. I don't like how this smells. There we go. Something's coming. You and your nose. I like the way this smells. I'm ready. Sky Union's radar station has confirmed the appearance of immortals in your vicinity. Transmitting target data. What's an immortal? I feel like I should have been briefed on this. What is an immortal? Oh, God. Yeah. Holy bejesus. Oh, my goodness what gracious. Looking at? Your sizes. You get class? Oh, man. You sure we're not in over our heads here? Yeah, I strongly suggest we shoot more. I suggest we shoot more bullets. From advancing further into Sky Union's territory. What? You've got to be kidding me! What's the call, Corporal? We're right where we need to. Should have known you'd say something like that. Oh my god, they're shooting missiles at me. I guess we're doing this. There are no whiners in bulletproofs. Besides, you're busy planning this. I'm going to work on his legs. That seems like the weak spot. I bet the legs are where we want to hit him at. It looks like he's trying to do a little stompy stompy dance over here, and I'm not having it. You better fire another mortar, bro. How do we know how much HP this thing has? Just out of uh, curiosity, huh? Because that's a big robot right there. Like, I agree. Calling it an immortal was probably an apt description. I'm going to go airborne and just hope he doesn't shoot any more uh, missiles at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope, don't like that. Don't like that. Ow, it stings. Don't like that at all. So is this thing's leg about to, like, fall off or something? Like, I need him to really kind of stop being a pain in my ass. Yeah, just keep shooting at him. Maybe he'll die at some point. I think I dodged most of those, but I don't know. I was doing my best, but sometimes your best just ain't good enough. Fierce Gale is approaching. Fierce Gale? What are you talking about? Still alive, huh? You've gotten stronger than seems. Corporal! Johnny G! Get out of the way! Major! Lieutenant! Falcon, Johnny G. We'll take it from here. Nice, dude. We got bailed out. We called in the big guns out here. We called in the Sarge. Oh, he's about to do some anime shit, huh? He's about to be like, shing, 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 shing. And it's going to fall into like three pieces. I won't always have to back you. Know. I'm the superior pilot. Just focus on defeating these for now. Fine, but someday you'll be next. That's the story. <laughs> nice. See, I didn't even need to deal all that damage. It was all ultimately fruitless and pointless. Look how bulletproof these buildings are. Look at that right there. That's like somebody's condo right there. And I'm just riddling it with like 30 foot bullets. And that thing is still standing. Like, look, I don't think my house could take a mortar from a giant anime mecha. That's all that I'm saying. Oh, we can skip this. We don't need to sit around for 60 seconds waiting to see what happens. So far, I'm pretty happy with everything that's happening right now. I'm fairly pleased. We got no rewards? I just fought two, like, city size. I thought I just fought two robots the size of the Transamerica building. And I'm not going to get any kind of bonus or any kind of loving for it? Lame, dude. Lame. I see we have a new face with us. Let me introduce myself. I'm Crimson Lord, second in command of Bulletworks. And this is Diablo. You did well out there. I'll be sure to keep you in mind. Whew, what an ordeal. I just wanted to score some quick credits. Good thing those two swooped in to save us. We're still alive. That's all that matters. You really gotta work on your praise, Corporal. Until next time. 
Oh, that's right. I'm just a mercenary, I dude. All necessary information for completing future missions. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Um, no, nah, I think I'm good, man. I just want to do more missions. I'm just pretty stoked about using this big bad piece of machinery right here. Look at the size of that gun. That's a gun right there. That's a gun right there. That's all I'm saying is I'm like, I feel like you could just replace my whole arm with that gun right there. We don't even need to have like a little grippy on it. It's unnecessary. Like that's just extra accoutrement that doesn't need to be involved. Oh look, I got support staff. What's up support staff? How you doing? Taking care of my mech over here, making sure it's nice and polished. Make sure you make, make sure the cod piece on this thing is nice and extra shiny. You know what I mean? Make sure it's got that extra buff layer of gloss on it. I'm out here. I'm not doing this job for the money. I'm doing this to impress the ladies. You show up at the bar with one of these bad boys. Just be like, hey, you want to go flying with me? That's the stuff right there. What other missions do we have right now? We got anything cool or do I still have to keep like working on? Oh my god. I'm still like working on my ranking right now? Dude. I think when I fought two city-sized robots to a stall until the bigger guns arrive by myself with no backup all alone under the red skies that like maybe you just give me a pass and I would become like a full-fledged member of the mercenary core by default but I guess not all right this game is Damon X Machina so far I'm fairly impressed with it it's pretty fun like sometimes it feels a little bit like sluggy but I'm assuming we're gonna get like bigger mechs or like faster mechs and stuff like that later on they've given me the newbie mech right now that's what I'm playing around with I'm not playing around with anything sexy I'm playing around with something like weak and lame right now but maybe further on in, we get some cooler stuff. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day. I don't know if this is an indie game. I don't even know if that applies, but it was Mecha. And there's not enough Mecha games out there. Armored Core has fallen by the wayside. You know, SLAI. That was just like a one-off that we never got another one of. Mech Warrior is doing whatever Mech Warrior is doing right now. You know, there's not enough of them. All right, Chrome Hounds is dead. There's just, there's, there's all these things that don't exist anymore, and I love mechas. So anyways, check the game out. I got a link for you down below. Big complaint is the game is like 60 bucks. It's very expensive. However, it does seem like the production values are pretty good. The other downer is that, like, there's lots of cosmetic stuff, like cosmetic DLC that are for the game. I kind of feel like if you're going to charge 60 bucks for the game, it should not have cosmetic DLC. It should all just be in the game. If you're going to have cosmetic DLC, I don't know, sell the game for like 20 bucks or something like that. You know, like supplement. It just seems greedy. Anyways, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. It was a blast. Leave a like on the video if you want to see more and dive further on into the mission structure. And I will absolutely do that. How you doing? Take care, everybody. Don't work too hard.